Okay, so we're in the Flume parking lot, getting ready to go up to Mount Pemicawasset. Uh, we're hoping to come back and go and walk through the Flume. If so, that link will be at the end of this video. Today we're joined again by Tim and Sue, Brandy with a Y and Scruffy, and of course, my bride Cheryl, and Brandy with an I. So, headed to Mount Pemicawasset. Okay, we're at the trailhead now for Mount Pemi. We're gonna go down, take the tunnel, go under Route 3, and then we'll be taking another tunnel going under Route 93 on our way up to Mount Pemi, AKA Indian Head. It's 2,557 feet. It's uh, on the 52 with a view list. It's also on the view and brew list. As soon as we finish this, we'll uh, head over to the Woodstock and go taste one of their brews to make it official. So, here we go. And this is the tunnel to get us under 93. Continuing our way to Indian Head. Uh, we have snowshoes, but we're not wearing them. The trail is somewhat packed, broken out. So we're not gonna worry about it for now. Okay, so uh, the Mount Pemicawasset Trail uses blue blazes for this whole trail. Um, there are legends about this mountain. I couldn't really verify more than one source each on them, so. But if you uh, do research for Chief Fallen Mountain and Chief Pemicawasset, you'll probably find the two different legends of how Indian Head got here, how the old man in the mountain was there. It's an interesting story. So the trail's going up. Of course, that's what they do on a mountain. A uh, little winded, but that's okay. I mean, it's a mountain. So, but everyone's in good shape. Uh, it's not that cold at all. We're still going without snowshoes. Uh, actually, we have no traction on whatsoever. We're bare booting it. The trail's pretty well packed, so dogs are having a good time. So, we're moving on. Well, so I can see they've started construction on the Pemi Hut. The door, the windows. Oh look, chimney's running. There you go, Pemi Hut. So we just came up a, probably the steepest part that we've done yet on this trail. And uh, we're walking in, in the woods. Trail sort of flattened out a little bit. I believe that means that we're almost there. So we'll keep moving along until we get to the top of it. So we've come to the junction of Indian Head Trail and we are all quite happy that we took the Mount Pemi Trail because Indian Head is not broken out. So off to the summit. It's kind of pretty in here. Pine trees have a little bit of snow on them. We think it snowed last night. Or there was a sign on the highway that said there was going to be snow swalls today. So I think we found where they were. Steady, steady. Steady. We have to be coming up to the summit. It's got to be around here somewhere. Another pretty section. Oops. Not very steady. Winter Wonderland. Yes. Don't you Winter Wonderland in February. Nope, I'm sorry. Winter Wonderland in March. This won't last very long. We must be coming up to the top. Hi, Brandywine. We are now on the top of Indian Head. And the view is terrible. I'll get a little further out onto the summit and see if I can get anything out there. Oh, yeah. Mine's on. Yeah. I'm filming you. I'm good now. The tables have turned. So. <laughs> <laughs> so it was completely fogged in. Uh, I, on a clear day, this must be beautiful. Maybe we'll come back someday. But uh, being up here, as you can see, the snow edge. That's sheer cliff going down there. So I'm not gonna go anywhere near the edge. I don't like going there's not snow, so you can imagine I could care less for it even now. So let me go join up with them. Hey everybody wave! Hi Chuck! <laughs> Alright, so we made it to the top of Indian Head. Uh, the profile. They say that the profile was created by water seeping into the cracks of the granite rock. And then from the freezing and expanding being up here in New England, it caused pieces of granite to break off, which formed what looks like Indian Head. They say the same thing happened with the old man of the mountain 
and it continues to happen and that's why the old man on the mountain is now old man on the bottom of the mountain and it's a shame that the same thing's probably going to happen at Indian Head. So enjoy it while it's here. So this is the view from as far as the edge that I'm going to go. No sense putting the camera up because it's just all clouds. We did leash the dogs because we don't know where the edge actually is. I mean, we know where it looks like, but we don't want any of the snow to let go and take any of them over the side. So, time to head down. Yet another angle of our non-views. Ah, great, my glasses just fogged up. This is my crew. So, I think we're gonna head back down now. Go over to the flume. Okay, so, we made it to the summit. So I guess that's gonna bring this video to